Hi everyone, I Shrujit welcome you all on Econometrix Day channel. आज हम लोग सीखने वाले हैं क्लास सेवन का मैथमेटिक्स तो बिना वक्त गवाए शुरू करते हैं आज का क्लास नाउ टूडे क्लास सेवन स्टूडेंट्स we are again going to continue with chapter 2 fractions and we are going to continue with work out problems previously we have solved till question number 6 and today we are going to solve question number 7 and today's part is part 12 so let us see what they have asked in the question question number 7 shuray's mother lets him read story books Three one by two, three whole number, one by two. That means three and a half hours per day during the summer vacations. He took three days to finish a book. How many hours did he take to read the book? So this is the question. So how we will solve? Now answer. First of all, Shuray's mother is letting him to read the story books. How many hours? Three and a half hours per day. That means every day you have to read three and a half hours. So this one we will write. Shuresh consumed. Okay. Per day, consumed per day in reading a. book okay shuresh consumed per day in reading a book how many hours 3 1 by 2 hours okay we can write the statement like this way instead of consumed you can write spend also shuresh spend per day in reading a book how many hours 3 and a half hours now he took Three days to finish a book. So total number of days he is taking to finish that book to read. Uh, how many days? Now he takes three days. Okay. So total number of days required to finish a book. okay or simply you can say total number of days to finish a book okay is how many 3 you can write 3 days also okay or 3 also you can write okay because here you have written days so this one if you don't write also no problem okay then how many hours did he take to read the book therefore number of hours Okay, how many hours? So number of hours, Shuresh take to read the book. Okay, that means Shuresh take how many total how many hours to finish reading the book. So in one day he is taking three and a half hours. In one day he is taking three and a half hours. so in 3 days he will take more okay so more means what multiply so 3 1 by 2 hours okay and how many days he is taking 3 okay understanding or no so this one this days if you don't write also no problem why because here you have written here total number of days required to finish a book 3 okay So three and a half hours into three. Now what I will do? Two into three six plus one seven by two into three, and then at last I will write the hours. Okay. Now can you cancel? No. So what you will do? Top top you multiply seven into three twenty one by two hours, and now twenty one by two means what? You can do. A rough twenty-one by two. Two ones are two. Cross. Then one comes. Will it go? No. So zeros are zero. So one left. 
सो टेन होल नंबर वन रिमेंडर टू डिवाइजर आवर्स एंड दिस इज द आंसर क्लियर सो आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड द सम वेरी इजी वन सुरेश स्पेंड पर डे इन रीडिंग अ बुक इज हाउ मच थ्री एंड अ हाफ आवर्स ओके दैट मीन्स थ्री एंड अ हाफ आवर्स पर डे एंड टोटल नंबर ऑफ डेज रिक्वायर्ड टू फिनिश अ बुक थ्री ओके दिस पार्ट डेज यू इट इज ऑप्शन ओके यू डोंट नो नीड ऑफ राइटिंग बिकॉज हेयर यू हैव रिटर्न देन नंबर ऑफ आवर्स सुरेश टेक टू रीड द बुक टू फिनिश रीडिंग द बुक विल बी ऑलवेज मोर बिकॉज इन वन डे If he is taking three and a half hours, three days he will take more. So three and a half into three, and you have to now simplify, and you will get the answer. Clear? Now we will move on to the next question. Now question number eight. Let us see. Question number eight is telling there are forty-five people living in a building. Out of these, one by three are men, one by five are women. and the rest are children find the number of men women and children living in the building so three things you have to find out number of men number of women and number of children so let us start solving the sum so total number of total number of people total number of people in the building okay so how many people are there total number of people and that is equal to 45 clear so 45 people are there living in a building okay then out of these 1 by 3 are men that means fraction okay fraction of the people who are men okay so fraction of people who are men so what fraction 1 by 3 then fraction another one we can write fraction of people who are women so women is how many 1 by 5 and the rest are children so rest are children that we will uh, find out at last okay let us now find out they are four because if i get the total number of men if i get the total number of women from the total if i subtract i will get the rest that is the rest are what children okay now if i want to write they are four number of men in the building so number of men in the building will be what men is fraction is what 1 by 3 and 1 by 3 of which one of the total of 45 okay so you can cancel 3 ones are 3 3 ones are 3 one remainder so what it comes 3 fives are 15 so 1 into 15 15 so 15 men clear understanding or no then number of women in the building okay or you can write living in the building also okay you can write number of men living in the building living also you can write living in the min, uh, building and again here also number of women living in the building okay so number of women is what 1 by 5 so 1 by 5 of 45 okay see 1 by 5 are women so now you can cancel 5 ones are 5 5 nines are 45 so how many nine women okay so 15 men are there nine women are there now number of children number of children living in the building okay how many very easy equal to sign total is what 45 from there you subtract how many are men from there you subtract how many are women okay and then you will get it okay so 45 minus 15 30 then minus 
and then how much comes 30 minus 9 21 and 21 is what children okay so you got the answer three answers are there one is 15 men nine women 21 children and this is the answer okay so i hope question number eight you have understood nicely now students those who are new in my channel i would like to request you that if you like this video if you like my channel then please give a like share this video more and more with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel because when you subscribe it really really motivates me to make more such interesting videos for you all and also don't forget to press the all notification bell ting ting so that whenever i upload such videos you will get the notifications first now we will move on to the last sum of this exercise now question number nine okay question number nine is telling rishika went to a store to buy sugar okay the price list at the store showed that the cost of one kg of sugar is rupees 40 and a half okay 40 whole number one by two how much money should rishika pay if she wants to buy five whole number three by four kg of sugar very very easy sum okay first of all rishika went to buy sugar and in the store she saw that cost of one kg so this is given cost of one kg of sugar that means per kg of sugar the cost is how much rupees 41 by 2 okay and how much rishika paid okay in total how much money she paid because she wants to buy 5 3 by 4 kg of sugar so quantity you can say quantity of sugar purchased quantity of sugar purchased purchased by whom you can write also that also by rishika okay so what is the quantity quantity is five whole number three by four kg so one kg is 40 rupees okay 40 and a half okay then five three by four kg will be more yes or no because if suppose one packet of biscuit is 10 rupees and if you want to buy four packets so it will be always more so more means multiply so 10 into 4 40 like that only if one kg of sugar is 41 by 2 then to buy 5 3 by 4 kg of sugar it will be always more and more means multiply so how much money should rishika pay therefore money paid by rishika okay money paid by rishika for buying you can say for buying sugar okay so how much it will be we will multiply rupees 40 and a half okay per kg this was per kg multiplied with what 5 3 by 4 kg clear now rupees rupees clear or no now this one i can make it 40 okay i will not make now ah, i can make it into improper but i will make it little later okay so 40 1 by 2 now per kg per kg i can write like this way per that means divided by kg per kg okay into now this one is what i can change it 4 into 5 20 plus 3 23 by 4 kg now look this kg kg cancels clear no so this only i wanted to show you okay now after this i can make it so rupees now this will be 2 into 40 80 plus 1 81 by 2 into 23 by 4 can you cancel no you cannot cancel so what i will do rupees now top top you have to multiply and down down you have to multiply downside is what 2 4 is 8 now top top 81 and 23 so 81 23 
So 3 1s are 3, 3 8s are 24, cross 2 1s are 2, 2 8s are 16. So what you get 3, here 6, here 8, here 1. So what you get 1, 8, 6, 3. And now the last step. Okay. We will convert it into mixed fraction. Okay. So what we will do? We will divide 1, 8, 6, 3 divided by 8. So first of all, 8, 2 is 16. So minus. Now what is left? 2. Then 6 will come down. Clear 26. 8, how much is the 26? 8, 3 is 24. So how much left? 2 left. Again 23. Now 8, 2 is 16. And now 23. You cannot, 3 is there, downside is 6, you cannot, you borrow and make it 13, 13 minus 6, 7 and 1 minus 1 is 0. So, what you get? 232 whole number, remainder is what? 7 and divisor is what? 8 and this is the answer. So, Rishika is paying how much rupees? Now, she is paying to buy sugar. How much? Rupees 232 whole number 7 by 8. Clear? I hope you have understood question number 9 nicely. Now it is your duty to practice these sums again and again so that in the examination you can do these sums correctly as well as quickly. Okay? Video agar acha lage to video ko like, share or subscribe karna mat bhuliyega. Milte hain और एक अच्छे नए कंटेंट के साथ तब तक के लिए बाय बाय